All right, so this week will be kind of a double whammy. Uh, it's the week before the Arnold <clears throat> and the week of the Arnold. So we had Spandy do um, singles uh, as well as Sean doing singles, just some snappy stuff. Um, and I was just chilling. Me and Josh were chilling because we were coming off of our last meet, jiving. Um, or vibing, either way. So yeah, so I have my guys and I do it myself. They go up a band, their last speed pulls going into a meet. Um, now this Corey obviously was not going into a meet, so we had him work up against the the monsters, and they got heavy in a hurry. But he did a really good job staying with that one. Stoked on how his deadlift progress is. So here's Josh putting his. Numbers up on the board um, from his meet, late 54 Squatsky. Uh, and then this is 10 days out uh, from the Arnold. Uh, Spady taking a 200 pound floor press. Really stoked on him for that. And then this was a massive PR for Sean. Um, really, really stoked on that as well. Since we weren't going to be training for the tail end of the week, we had. Uh, Corey just getting a shirt and do the damn thing. Um, this was a PR off of a one board, and he was really stoked on that. Um, went up, and I was like, you got to do it right. He pressed that one straight instead of pushing back over his face. So he had him take it again, or go up and take another one, even though it was slow. Um, we're working on him having a slight tuck with his elbows in the bottom so the bar doesn't get in front of his elbows. Um... And that was a good correction there. That one kind of pressed straight too. We really have to work on that with him. We're doing a, a few things. Uh, this was my first Friday after the meet. Me and Josh did 100 total reps. And that was brutal. Uh, and Val was taking like openers and uh, second and thirds. Um, she definitely had a tough squat session here she was pissed this meat prep has been very difficult on her learning the wraps um she cut a few of these kind of high uh and they were harder than she wanted them to be um but that is just how it goes sometimes the last meat that she did barney she basically missed her op opener <laughs> or her second attempt in the gym. And then we just went to the gym or went to the meet and she did great. So I think she was dealing with a lot here. Um, here's Corey against some blue bands. Uh, had him work up a little bit. Uh, this was week one, or I believe this was week three. Uh, so we had him go up on the last set. Uh, and then the last Sunday before the Arnold, I had Sean go up uh, with a speed band. Uh, here's the drive. I was not a part of this drive. I was already flown out there, but here's Val and the boys driving out. <laughs> All right, so Arnold Day, Spandy, taking his last warm up here. This was not his first big meet, but it was his first meet that was like hectic in the warm up room like this. So. A lot going on. Went out for his opener. Um, judging at the XPC was a little inconsistent. Um, but that's okay. It's a huge meet. That shit happens. So on this one, he gets called for jumping the rack command somehow. Or no, he got that one. That one was good. And then we went to 415 on a second. And on this one, he missed the rack command. Um... Depth, obviously, <laughs> was good. And then somehow he got called on a rack command on that, which I think was not a great call. Um, but shit happens. So we had to retake it. And we're like, all right, do not fuck this up. You Now you only have one chance to do this, right? So had him take it again. Uh, this is 415 for like a, whatever, 12-pound PR in the basement and smoked it. Probably had another whatever, uh, 20 pounds in him. 
And it was really cool to watch Spandy put it together. Love his fucking hair. I love that our group is full of individuals. And uh, we were really, really pleased for him. He did a great job uh, sticking with that. And, you know, we, as you can see here, we're fucking stoked for him. Um, that was really, really good. So on to bench. Uh, Spanny decided to take about 45 minutes to touch this one. <laughs> it took so long. I hit him with a three inches and I know he's sitting there going, oh, fuck my life. Um, but smoke, easy. Got a little off balance, but was able to hang on to her, which was great. Now we're in the meet. So we're like, all right, buddy, here we go. We go 225 for a little five pound PR. <laughs> now... Obviously, five pound PR doesn't seem like a big deal, but you look at the size of Spandy, he's in gear, um, he's in single ply, so it, it's like five pounds for him is a big deal. Um, especially, it's, it's been a while since he's, since he's had one, so uh, really good job with that. We're like, fucking right, let's go. Stoked on that, and jumped to 235. Um, Spandy's prep was not great, as you guys well know. His prep did not go very well. So um, he had a few, you know, personal things going on uh, that he had to work through. Um, but super proud of him. Look at that. That's fucking unreal. Yes, we were very, very stoked on that, as you can see. Let's fucking go. Yes. Um, super proud of him for that. So then we had to make the call. It's like, do you want to try and beat the guy in your weight class or do you want a thousand pound total? He said thousand pound total. So he opened with 290 just to get him in the meat. I'm pretty sure that PR'd his total a little bit. And then 330 gave him like a, whatever, a 15 or 20 pound PR total. And then we went 350. This was for his thousand pound total. Um, and really stoked on how easy this was for him. It wasn't a PR deadlift, um, but really, really proud of him for going through the meet and uh, having some adversity. So overall, really, really stoked for him. <laughs> here's, here's Josh doing a, a challenge at the Arnold. I don't even know how many reps he got here, um, but he was running around going crazy because he hadn't trained so he's finding stuff to do and finding different um they have like challenges all over the place for it you know uh i think he just wanted to do enough to get the free whatever um and yeah he did pretty good here this was it was funny because josh doesn't look as strong as he is you know so i think people were a little surprised by that uh and here's Spandy, 1,000 pound total. Let's fucking go, bro. Boom. Grand champion, baby. Stoked for Spandy. Um, here's Sean. This was Sean's first big meet. Period, the end. Um, somehow, uh, in, in, in some world, this was not to depth. Um, I... I don't, I don't know. I don't see it. So it is what it is. Had him retake it and had to absolutely fucking bury him. He has very big legs um, and kind of gets pitched forward. <laughs> it's a fucking deep multiply squat. Um, but yeah, so then we went to, you know, he was feeling a little fatigued from the travel and, and all that stuff. So um, we didn't want to go to an all-time PR, just something to build his total. So he just went to 835, which is roughly like 15, 20 pounds off of his best. I think his best was 848 kilo meat. Um, so he went 835 and I was like, I got to put you in there, dude. Like you're either going to come up with it or not. I don't want this to be a depth call, right? So we put him to the fucking basement. That is a deep, deep, deep multiply squat. So really stoked for him there. And then we just had to build the total. Uh, so opened with 385 um, and just sort of talked him through it. He's actually pretty good in a shirt. Shirt's a little short in the sleeves for him. So he sm smashed that. His warm-ups did not go good in the shirt. So it did not go well at all. Um, and then so he we went to 410 for a 
small PR. I think his best was 402 or 407. So we went to 410. Uh, came down nice and easy. It's also super sick to see Josh handing out to Sean. Um, that brotherly love. Really, really good job there. Uh, we jumped to... 4.30, jacked the shit out of his shirt, thought that maybe we could get it on a swing and a prayer. He battles this one. He stays with it. Um, but unfortunately, he misses this one at the top. And I think part of that's um, fatigue, part of it's sleeve. Ended up taking it from him. Uh, and he was bummed about that. But it is what it is. So he went 5.65 on an opener, which is... <laughs> A PR and a meet for him, but it's, like, just based on, like, us, you know, fucking some stuff up. This gave him a five-pound PR total uh, and a deadlift PR. So he went to 585, somewhere in the middle. Um, he got called for a hitch. This is something that happens in training. In the back, you can see me chatting with, uh, with Ed Cohn. That was great. Haven't seen him in years. I was really stoked to see him. Um, but yeah, so he gets called on a hitch here, uh, which we really got to be tougher on him in training. I don't know if I would have called that, but it is what it is. He got called. We redid it. Uh, and he was able to pull it here for, I think this gave him like a 40 pound PR, uh, total 45 pound PR total, which can't be mad about that. Let's go. Uh, do not do this. This was <laughs> not our best move, but I had to give back the rental car, so then we were just in valves, and we had to get home. So do not do this. All right. It is the weekend recap. Corey has been driving for a long time. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to let anyone else drive. So Val has just been chilling in the back. I drove a little bit. Headed back from the Arnold. Uh, we have been driving since 5 a.m. It's 4.06 p.m. Uh, and by we, I mean he. And uh, it was a good weekend. We saw Spangelina total 1,000. We saw... Uh, Sean take a squat, the deepest multiply squat I've fucking ever seen. Uh, Spandy took some pictures with some uh, very top heavy sort of women walking around the uh, <laughs> walking around the Arnold. And then his mom was not pleased with that, but it was very funny for everyone else. Um, yeah, overall it was really good. We had PF Chang's last night. We're kind of feeling the effects of the sodium of that. And I never want another piece of salt again. Never once. Um, well, let's go around and just share one fun thing that happened. Corey, what is one fun thing? Here, I'll go first so you can right. think about it. My one fun thing. If you steal my thing, though, I'm going to be upset. Okay. My one fun thing is I got to spend the weekend with my training partners and stay in an Airbnb and watch them be successful. And it was fucking dope. And I feel very grateful for all of them and the fact that my wife also really likes all of them. And also we all train together and have a good time. So it's very cool to do this for a weekend. Corey. Uh, yeah, seeing Spandy and, and Sean on a big stage like that was sick. Oh. Don't take my shit. <laughs> you didn't warn me. <laughs> it was sick though. They got to go do a, a big meet, you know what I mean? They hadn't done a meet like that before. That was really cool. Um, and they both executed and did pretty decent, so that was sick. And it was cool to see all the stuff and people at the Arnold because I'd never been, so that was cool too. Yeah. Uh, if I have to pick another one besides that, um, <laughs> I think just, you know, at those big events, we just get a chance to reconnect with a bunch of people that we've met throughout the years. Um, and it's like, each time, it's cooler. You know, because we're just like, all of us at once are 
powerlifting in general are just like making memories together. So each year it's just cooler and cooler that we get to see and reconnect at these big events that we all go to. Dude, yes, I agree. It's very cool to watch for me and Val. Like we've been in this sort of like in the, the trenches for longer than the rest of the guys in the group and so to watch it get to a point where now like they're starting to know people at meets people are starting to remember them and then it brings me back to like earlier in my career when I first started like watching them go to these meets all over the country and stuff reminds me of when like Val and I first moved to Ohio and we like were going on all these west side trips and like just like meeting people and just like being in this random fucking city like and just like watching people lift weights and helping in the warm-up room and being a part of it so yeah it was a sick weekend and we've got Val's meet next weekend and then the weekend after that I'm going to Portland Oregon to help my buddy and then like two weeks after that we have the fucking women's pro-am and then like two weeks after that we have our meet so little behind on the it's vlogs okay. we're we're working on it busy, busy. we'll probably yeah. do like a double drop or whatever yeah. um but yeah super super awesome weekend everybody did sick and uh we'll fucking see you next time Let's get it